Hi, my name is Anita Moore, and I want to share with you um, my mixed media page. Um, this is done on a um, Grum Badger uh, mixed media book. It's a five and a half by eight and a half. And I've also done it on a canvas uh, paper. You get these out of uh, little um, pads. You can um, put them in frames or put them like gathered uh, like a little book. They're done both the same, except this one has a different texture, which I, I'm excited to show you how to do this. This one here, because it was so small, it's all bundled up using um, the Squeeze the Day stencil by Studio R12. Just love this stencil. I'm thinking of doing more projects with that one. And the first thing that I did, I applied gesso to this. And I used the Decorart uh, Media uh, Gesso. Using a flat brush, I just did a slip slap uh, motion and I let some of these little backgrounds of the canvas show in so that it ha uh, has a different uh, texture when it comes up. And I used some uh, Decorart Media Fluid Acrylic Paint. I'm using uh, Faux Squirrel Brushes by Dynasty. Okay, now let's get started. I'm using um, the yellow green uh, mister. I also have uh, the orange mister. And this one is, is a shimmer mister. It's yellow. Okay. Um, I can also show you on the paper uh, the same way that I'm going to do on here. Okay. Uh, shake your bottles, but always shake them with the lid on. Now, what I'm going to do is. Um, apply some green here in different little areas. I'm going to grab my orange, okay, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the shimmer mister, different little areas. Okay, now I'm going to take a water bottle and I'm just going to wet this just so that the paint mixes all together okay you can lift this up now if you want more green on it then um, splatter some more green okay i want it more green in the background okay turn this around okay i also take um some wet paper towel. If you have like big blobs, you can just wipe this down. Okay, when you think you're happy with how it's going to look, the next step is you're going to use, um, this is kosher salt, okay? You're going to apply, just put some in your palm of your hand. And while this paint is wet, just splatter some, um, kosher salt on your uh, paper. This is going to take a while to dry. So while this dries, we're going to work on the other paper, how I showed you how to do that. Okay. And I'm going to move this aside. Might have to use a blow dryer to dry that. Uh, the paper does curl up when it's uh, wet and it flattens up when it, it's uh, all dry. Let me clean my little area here. Okay. For the paper, I applied just so on this as well and I really let that dry. Um, you can do the background technique just like I showed you, or you can use a glass or a palette. Um, and I can't find my glass. Hmm. That's okay. We'll do like uh, exactly like I did on the canvas. So let's splatter some green, some orange. And a little bit of shimmer. Okay, and then let's wet this just a little bit. 
Okay. And then just run these along. So I'll take a paper towel. Let it drip. Also just dab a little bit off. Alrighty, I'm going to uh, pause. I'm gonna dry my papers and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have it dried and this is what the paper looks like. It's a little different than this one because what I did was I had put um, like a on a pile of paper or glass, I put the paint on the glass, I watered it, and then I just laid this flat to dab. I had another YouTube video uh, um, using that technique with one of the papers um, for a project. Um, so now my, um, my salt is dry. What you need to do now is you just take an old uh, little brush and just go in circles. Some areas might still be wet. Just go in circle and um, take some of the salt off. might still be wet because it does take a long time to dry if you want to do um, this technique like do a couple of sheets at a time that way you have a couple to uh, play with uh, once it's completely dry okay I just want to see if there's still some more on there Okay, let me just wipe my hands on this so they don't get in the way of my uh, project. There. Okay, let me just clean this off. Use a wet one. Uh, you do use a lot of wet ones when you uh, do uh, mixed media. Okay, and your hands get all dirty. There. Okay, I just want to wipe a little bit off of my hands. Okay. And I th like your backgrounds will always, always be different depending on how wet your paper is and how much salt you apply to your background. So pretty sure I got all the salt off of this. Maybe a couple little crumbs. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, this goes flat once it's dry, dry, okay? The next step that I did, I took um, I took some um, stays on. This is a, 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 a timber brown, okay? And I used this cute little, um, it's like a dauber brush. And what I'm going to do is just rub my brush on here and then um, just apply it to the edge. And it's not going to be perfect, okay? I'm going to add some uh, color over top of it too, just to make it a little darker. So just hold on to your paper while you're doing this and go in circles. I'll have different little back uh, technique it or. Um, shading on this edge here you can go a little darker on the corners so if you go in circles it's not going to be like a straight little line here when you're uh, applying the ink so 
to go all the way around the edge. You can go like skip a couple little areas if you want. She had this gesso popped out on the paper. It's really nice. I love it. Okay, now we're going to apply um, some uh, paint all around the edge to make it a little darker. And I used a burnt umber for that. Okay, so let's get my burnt umber. Okay, and I did, for the paper, I did exactly the same. I went around the edge with uh, the brown ink. Okay, I'm applying some uh, burnt umber on my palette. Okay, and I'm going to use a, um, this is a half inch uh, angle brush. Really wet it. Okay, and then just pick it up at the corner and go up and down till your ink or your paint goes right through, okay? Now, just messy, okay? Go all the way around your edge. Apply more if you need to, okay? And like I said, I want my paint to be a little watery so that your, um, your blending um, is not so harsh. I keep applying uh, some ink here, or I keep saying ink, paint. Just messy, just make it messy. Go all the way around. Again, if you find it just drags, add more water to your bristles. Okay. And add a little bit more water. And this paint dries like really fast. I love this paint. Yeah, I keep adding water. I want it really inky, okay? It goes darker along the edge and lighter when you get to the center part. This is the last side. Okay, nice. Okay, we're gonna dry it and then we're gonna do some inking uh, with this cute little stamp. It's from Stupendous and uh, it's called uh, Vintage Note. I'll have all the supplies that I've used in um, uh, below the videos so that you can follow along. There's no e-packet for this. I'm just showing you like a little background technique and uh, some fun way of using stencils without having to draw um, on, uh, on a project. Okay, and for this, I use um, Ranger Archival ink. It's jet black. Okay, and I'm gonna take my um, stamp and just dab uh, some ink on it. And you're not going to have it like perfect, so you want it to apply in different little areas. Okay, and I'm going to get some more ink. Just dab here and there. Okay. And that's it for that. Now I used um, this uh, little stencil from Studio Art 12 and it looks like little honeycombs. I can't find that all right here. Yeah, they're uh, Studio Art 12 and I'll put the stencil in the link below as well. 
I'm using uh, for this is um, the Americana acrylic and it's Snow White. And you need a uh, Stencil Pro brush. Let me put some on my palette here. I'm almost done on this one. And you need some paper towel and a brush. I'm going to use uh, the 3 8 Stencil Pro brush by Dynasty. Okay, and I think I need a different bottle of paint because that one has big clumps of paint. It's, I'm getting to the bottom, so let me just wipe this off and I'm going to grab a new bottle of paint. Okay. Um, for this one here, I find that my honeycomb, I didn't have enough, so I want to apply a little bit more. Okay, place your, your stencil, and what you do is uh, you grab uh, your brush. It's always dry. You're going to dab into your paint, put it on your palette here, and then wipe as much as you can on your uh, paper towel. Now, going in circles, it doesn't have to be like a perfect little design. You just go around, and you'll see you have different uh, little honeycombs there. Over here too, go in different directions. Okay, and if you need a little bit more paint, grab some more, wipe it on your paper towel. Okay, go along the edge, and run all the way down, and put one in the center. And put one over here. This is your little project. Do it how you uh, you see it. Okay, a little bit more. Now it's not as white. Right here. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna put that in water. Okay, now. This is the fun part and very easy to do, okay? I have uh, the Squeeze the Day uh, stencil from Studio Art 12. And what I did was I placed my um, lemon how you want it. You can have it on an angle or lay it flat. And make it a little more up uh, where the dark area is. Okay, so let's place this like this. You can use... Um, Painter's tape, if uh, you find it um, moves on you. I'm going to tape the edge here. Okay, and the paper is straight. And I'm going to put it on a little angle. Okay, and I'm going to use white paint again, the Snow White. And I'm going to use like a, a bigger uh, stencil pro brush. This is a half inch. So again, use a dry, load your bristle, okay? And then wipe as much as you can on your paper towel. Now, go in circular motion. We're going to have to add like at least two or three uh, coats of white, okay? And then... Um, base coat it with uh, a yellow color. Now, make sure you don't apply too much paint on your brush, okay? Go in different directions. You can stipple if you want um, the, the up and down motion. I just find it's easier um, dry brushing. Okay, let's dry this so that we can add another coat. Okay. And sometimes your yellow from the background uh, will mix up with the white. That's why it's really important that you let it dry. 
Okay. Just put your hand down and hold it in place so it doesn't uh, move and you won't have uh, bleeds behind your stencil. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, one more time. Hold your brush. You don't need to apply a whole lot of pressure, just go lightly over top. not going to wet my brush I, I need it again so okay there's the whites okay we're gonna dry this off and then we're gonna base coat it Okay, to base coat this, I used uh, Hansa Yellow Light. Okay, put some on my uh, palette. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, and I used um, number eight, uh, it's a round brush. Wet it. Okay, and I'm kind of watering down my paint. Okay. Make a little wet puddle and I'm going to base coat just. Oh, I did this wrong. One second. I didn't want to base coat that part there. Let's just wipe this off. Okay. I want to base coat this part here. <laughs> And do all these little grinds. So that way when it dries, you'll have um, like a little lighter colors, all different uh, shading. And it's okay if you go over the uh, lines because you're going to um, Trace them out with uh, IdentiPen. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit more. Okay, now let's use a, um, this here is a 3 8 angle brush, okay, wet it, and we're going to float just like along the edge here, leaving the white showing as a highlight, okay, so pick up with the toe, blend on your palette, and it doesn't have to be a straight line. When you get to the edge here, just turn your brush so that it's um, to a point. I'm going to turn this around, stuck there. And if you find your paint doesn't uh, blend well, add a little bit more water to your brush. 
And this one right here. Okay, now let's dry that. Okay, let's add some floats on the ends of uh, each little sections, and we're going to go over these floats with, um, this one is hence a yellow medium, it's a very pretty color. Use the same angled brush, or if you prefer, use a shader. You don't need a whole lot of paint on your palette. Okay, I'm going to pick up um, a little dab at the toe. And just blend on your palette, okay? Now, apply a choppy little float and walk it in so that you have, um, you know, like a different, wider little float here. Okay, go along the edge, walk it in, so the color kind of blends in. All the way along the edge. Okay. And again, if you feel like it drags, wet your brush a little bit more. Okay. Now I want to do the other end here, same way. It's all choppy. Choppy and messy. Okay, now I'm going to just clean off my brush so I can get a no section. Now I want to re uh, apply the float along the edge here. Okay. All the way around. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to let that dry before we outline it. Now, for the writing, I used um, white, but I'd like to try use uh, the lamp black. Where's my lamp black? With the, the carbon black. I thought it was lamp black, but it's carbon black. Okay, I'm going to put some on my palette. And I'm going to use um, the 5 8 stencil brush, okay, because I need a clean uh, brush. And I'm going to place that here. And I'm going to tape it down. Take my paper down with it. So I just want to show you the difference between the right, the white writing and the black writing. Writing. I can't talk today. Okay. Now I'm going to do squeeze and the, um, so that I don't get um, the day word. I just want to block it off with some tape. And. I'll get a little bit of piece. So what I do is just tape off the day so you don't get it in the, in the word there. Okay. Let's load 
again, you'll need your paper towel. Load some black on your brush, okay? And wipe as many as much as you can on your paper towel, okay? Now go in circular motion, making sure that you don't apply too much paint, okay? You want to fully cover your word. Hold the paper down or the stencil down so that you don't get no bleeding. You can use a, a dark green color if you wanted to for your words. I didn't even think of that. Use whatever color you want. Okay, now let's do the, the word the. Not moving it. Okay, give me a little bit more black there. Some more up. Moving it. Oops, I think I overloaded my brush. Okay, um, right here. Okay, I'm going to dry that off so that I can replace it. So the black really pops it out. I like it. They're both nice, the white or the black. So I applied, I had too much paint on my brush. I didn't wipe it enough on my paper towel. So it bled a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to take uh, the tape off the word day. And I'm going to put it on this word here so I don't get that part. Oops. Ah. Stuck together. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Um, and then just place it the way you want. I'm, I try and aim it with the S up here. And it's far enough from the word day. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to put some tape. It doesn't move. Okay, now. Same way with the black. Make sure you wipe as much as you can on your paper towel. Different little circles. Mm, I think I need a little bit more black here. A bit darker. Okay. Take this off. Now always clean your stencils after you're done. Um, put soap and water under your sink. Take this tape off. Okay. Um, I do want to show you though a quick little way of cleaning it. If you wet it with um, some water, if you don't have your sink nearby, Take a wet one and just wipe a little bit of it off until you're able to clean it. So be careful uh, when you do this, though. You don't want to break your little letters, okay? So I'm just going in little circles. Some of it comes off. You can also use hand sanitizer to take off some of this paint.
there. I'm going to clean it when I uh, get it to my sink. Just move this aside. Okay. So I just want to again show you uh, that was my little paper, ground badger paper, and I did the same, same technique as I did on here. The only difference is I didn't use the salt on here, uh, on this one here. Okay, now, seems to be dry. I want to float uh, underneath here in these letters, and uh, I'm going to use um, some burnt, uh, burnt umber. Where are we? I'm going to use burnt umber uh, for this paper here though i did use um, the transparent red iron oxide so it makes it a little bit more orangey um, whatever your preference is here i used brown and i used green uh, for my um, my uh, little shading around the letters but because i used black I think I want to go with, um, hmm, I think I might go with the green still for my letters, and I'm going to go with burnt umber along the bottom. Again, I'm just giving you some little ideas on, on some, uh, some background technique here. You can do it however you want. Okay, I'm going to use my half inch angle brush. I'm going to load my, my uh, bristles here, and it's I want the paint to be a little watery, okay, and let's work it. I want a harsh line. I want to work it in there. Okay, and like I said, go all the way along the edge here. When you get to this tip, go into a fine little point, okay? And work it down. There. And if, like right here, I find it's too harsh, I'm just going to wet my brush and just, I just added water. I want to blend it in just a little bit more. There. Okay. Let's take. Um, this um, green here, the yellow green, what I did was I, um, I just put a little bit of dab on my um, palette and that's what I'm going to use to float my little letters. Okay, because it's a mister, you might have to apply to your brush more often. Okay, and I used the 3 8 angle brush. Okay, you load the same way. Um, what I did was... Um, on the outside, I floated. Okay, and it's okay if you go on the black because you're not going to see it. Seems like I'm missing a little letter on my E, but it wasn't fully out. Okay, and I'll go underneath. Always, so you can always float the outside and underneath, okay? Very pretty green. Over here, under there, over here. I got too much in the block, but I'm going to just take some more. I must have painted my fingers. I'll 
blob of green there. Okay. Oop, too much water. And my brush. All the way around, go underneath. See how that pops out a little bit? Make some more green in the background. Again, I'm constantly loading because it's not real, like it's not paint paint. It's just a really watery um, mister. And it's messy. It's not perfect. It has a lot of green in the center. I don't need a whole lot. Water, water, water. A little bit here. Oops. And one more letter. You can always go back if you find you need more green. You can always go back and add some. Okay, now let's outline our, um, our uh, lemon here before we, uh, before we add some uh, bees. Okay, what I did, and there, it's not a perfect little line, I just went along the edge. Okay, and then go back again, not doing the same line, and then add a little wiggly at the end. This is an identa pen. There's a fine uh, point and a thicker point, um, but I prefer the finer little points when you do this. And you always have to make sure your project's dry when you're using the identa pen in order for it to work. Um, if your project is wet, then your identipen is not going to work. And just do little squiggly lines. Okay, and for the edge here. Same thing. You don't have to go all the way around twice. You can just skip a couple little areas. Okay, and you can add a couple little squiggly lines. Okay, now the bee is all hand free. I really enjoyed doing my little bees. What I did, I took um, this brush here, the number eight round. Okay, and I have a bee going this way and a bee going that way. So let me just put that like that so you can see it. Okay. Um, I'm going to load with some uh, Snow White, okay, I loaded my bristle, and what I did was I just did like a nice round, or like a oval low teardrop, I guess you can say, one this way, and let's do one this way, you can put it wherever you want, you can have as many as you want, okay. 
So it's like a teardrop. Okay, you want it flat here and, and small at the other end. Okay, now let's dry that. You'll need um, some carbon black and some yellow. You can either do the Hansa yellow medium or the light, whichever you prefer. It doesn't really matter. And what I used was a number one round. Okay, now let's take, I'm going to take the uh, handsome medium yellow. Okay, pick it up. And what I did was two wiggly little lines and then each little end. Put it thick too if you want. Okay, now dry that off. And then we'll need some black for its head and body. Just a little to dry. Okay, for the head, just go around. This way you can fix it up and don't make it so straight just dab the end so that it looks like the the yellow and the black is um joining and get to his little bum here put a little point and same here If you feel you need more yellow, when it's dry, add a little bit more yellow to make it brighter, which I think I'm going to do. It's right here, but careful you don't mix it too much with the black. Okay, let's try that and we'll do some wings. Okay, I floated uh, some wings there. They're not the same length. They're, uh, they're just little um, C strokes. I used the um, 3 8 angle brush. So load your brush, the tip here, and blend it on your palette. Okay. Um, what I did was like little C strokes. So I did like a wiggly here and the edge and they're choppy and the same over here turn this around okay let's dry that off and then we're gonna outline it with the identa pen Okay, now I went around the body here and I made two little antennas. I went around the wing a couple of times. The wing's not perfect. Okay, now let's do some splattering. I splattered some um, some carbon black and I also used this uh, Shimmer Mr. White. And um, you can put a little bit of orange too. Uh, this one here, the yellow. Okay, so let's add those three colors. I'm gonna do the black first because it's already on my palette. And I used, I like using fan brush 
Um, so I really wet it. Okay. And what I do is make sure there's nothing around and it does splatter. Okay. So I really have a lot of water in it. Make it like a puddle. How how you make this watery, your your dots will be a little bit uh, bigger, like your spatter. And then I hold it straight up and just tap your brush. Uh, you can guide it to where you want your black. If you don't want it so much on your, your lemon, don't add it so much. Okay. Rinse that off. And again, I'm going to take that shimmer. I'm going to just splatter on there and use the same fan brush clean mix it in my puddle and you're not going to see too much of the orange uh, only because you have a lot of orange in the background already but you can't put it in a darker area and you will see it on your um, your black okay now let's do the same with the white mister okay nice okay and i got everything that i need on my project here okay here you have two different um style uh when you did when i did white i outlined it with the identa pen okay same bees and the splatter if you wanted some um flatten up um specks what you did do is take a wet one and just dab over it and it'll flatten up some of the the specks make it more watery okay now this is with the black writing which i i find it pops it up even more okay and uh this concludes my little project and uh i really hope you enjoyed it i have other youtube videos um with mixed media if you're interested in browsing um please like share and subscribe to my channel Click on the little notification and you'll always get my latest YouTube videos. Thank you. Have a good day.